Hi and welcome to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be on hysterosalpingography. Hysterosalpingography is an outpatient fluoroscopy procedure that evaluates the uterine cavity and fallopian tube patency by injection of a contrast material through the cervical canal into the uterus. Here are some of the indications to do hysterosalpingography. The first one is for evaluation of infertility. This imaging, HSG, is mainly used in the evaluation of female infertility as it can identify any obstruction in the fallopian tubes, any dilation such as hydrosalpins, and also surrounding adhesions as well as uterine sinicae, intracavitary lesions, and also septa. The second indication is when there is suspected congenital uterine anomalies such as septate, biconate or uniconate uterus, and this can be detected with HSG. Pre-procedure planning, such as some hysteroscopic procedures including myomectomy, adhesion resection and septum resection. This will benefit from the pre-procedure HSG to identify the location and also the size of the lesions for resection. So they will do this hysterosalpingography HSG before doing hysteroscopy and later on for resection of lesions. The fourth indication is for assessment after procedures such as tubal ligation or tubal reversal procedures. After looking at the indications, let's look at the contraindications of HSG. The major contraindications are pregnancy, active undiagnosed vaginal bleeding, active pelvic infection even if the patient is receiving antibiotic therapy, and if they have a history of a moderate or severe reaction to iodinated contrast. There are also relative contraindications such as active menstruation. This picture shows a normal hysterosalpingogram, where you can see that there are the fallopian tubes and the normal uterus. When do we do HSG? We have to avoid pregnancy when we are doing this imaging test and the optimal time is to do it one week after menstruation when the isthmus is most distensible to allow the flow of contrast media. So I'll briefly talk about the procedure of HSG. Then the first part is for preparation of the patient. So first, the doctor will ask the patient to lie on the table with your knees bent and legs open as if you are having a pelvic exam. And the machine taking the x-ray, which is the fluoroscopy machine, will be positioned above the table. Then the doctor will insert a speculum into the vagina that will widen it and also allow the doctor to assess your cervix. After that, the doctor will clean your cervix and also insert a small catheter in the cervical canal into the uterus. The catheter may be a thin plastic tube called a cannula, or the doctor may use a thin plastic tube with a balloon at the end, where the balloon will inflate once it is inside your body, and this helps to hold the tube in place for the next step, which is the injection of the dye. So another, the other procedures is to inject the dye. So first, the doctor will remove the speculum, and then later on, they will slowly pump the dye solution into the uterus, while the radiology technician will operate the fluoroscopy machine over the pelvic area. The doctor may place the patient in different positions to assess how the solution moves through the fallopian tubes. After enough x-ray pictures have been taken, the cannula or plastic tube with the balloon will be removed and the procedure will be completed. So these are some of the complications of HSG. They are very, they are common, uh, they are very uncommon, and they include infection, allergic reaction, and the patient might have syncope episodes. That's all for this video. Thank you.